Well, looks like I need some more light here for starters. Let's try that. That's a little better. Anyway, what we got going on here is two Elecraft, well actually three, but two Elecraft transceivers connected to one Elecraft pan adapter. And um, the way I did it is with the little microwave relay. Hang on a second. There we go, a little microwave relay just like that. Good to 18 gigahertz. SMA connectors, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's back there. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, let me show you how it works. Okay, so right now the uh, pan adapter display is hooked up to the K3, and there were a couple guys talking here. It's um, what time is it here? It's about six o'clock. And yeah, looking for a signal. There's one. Reactants and impedance. Holy cow. There you go. Anyway, um, so it's on the K3. You can see the display, I think. Okay. And uh, on the K2, I'm currently on 20 meters CW. So let me turn the volume down on the K3. And we'll tune in a CW station. And uh, now I'm going to switch the pan adapter over. I have a little, uh, first thing I got to do is change the pan adapter for the right IF. The K3 uses a uh, 8215 kilohertz and the K2 uses a 4915 kilohertz. So I set up one of the programmable function keys on the P3 to handle that. And if I hit function key 1, It'll ask me what rig I want to use, and I switch from the K3 using the select knob here over to one called user. Tap the knob, and now I have a switch over here to uh, activate that relay. So let me throw that. And there's the uh, pan adapter now showing 20 meters CW. Let's tune around a bit. Get some strong signals on here. All the functions of the pan adapter still work except the frequency displayed at the center is wrong and this green um, bar should disappear. In fact, let me set that up by pulling out the data cable. Hang on. Okay, so I pulled out the data cable, and this is what the uh, pan adapter screen would normally look like on the K2. It's really uh, a no-frills kind of thing. Uh, what I can do is turn on one of the P3 markers to act as a center. So I'll do that. And uh, one thing you might notice, let me uh, take the span way down. This bump right here never goes away. That spike right there is here to stay. And what that is is actually BFO leakage back through the IF chain. It doesn't hurt anything because it's on the same frequency as the BFO, much reduced in strength, but there's enough, um, not really feedback, but like reverse leakage through the IF chain that it uh, shows up on the pan adapter. And there's probably a way to get rid of it, but it doesn't really hurt anything, so I'm inclined just to uh, leave it there. Anyway, um, so I can uh, do all most of the same functions, except I don't have any data from the K2 going up to the P3. It's just the IF connection. So let me 
tune around here a second. I'm looking at uh, a span of seven and a half kilohertz right now, and I can change that. I can go all the way up to 200 kilohertz, same as uh, with the K3, plus or minus 100 kilohertz. And the uh, minimum is plus or minus 1 kilohertz. And there's my BFO leakage right there. This is actually another signal. Carrier. So we'll take the span up to maybe look at plus or minus 10 kilohertz. So that's it. Let me pause this a second. All right, we got the wide shot back, and uh, a lot of good signals on 20. Well, I don't know if you'll be able to read the display. Probably not, so I won't mess with that right now. But um, a little bit later on, I wanted to give Mark a little bit further demo on the uh, operation of the K2. So uh, let me switch back now to the K3. Let me turn the volume down on the K2. And uh, mix a little K3 audio in with that. And we're still on 75 meters here. Okay, there's a guy 3950. Let me uh, switch the pan adapter back. So I'll hit my little switch over here, and you see the display flat lines. So what I've got to do is go back to my programmable function key and select the right radio, which is the K3, and the display comes back. But remember, I disconnected the data cable up there, so let me plug that back in, and we get all the features. Um, as far as displaying the center frequency and uh, tracking with the K3. So hang on. Okay, we got the data cable plugged back in. And you see I get, I don't, you probably can't see, but there's a center frequency display and this green bar is uh, adjustable pass bandwidth of the K3. So I can widen it out or narrow it up. Really useful on CW, by the way. But we'll set it for 2.7 kilohertz. So uh, back to normal operations here. Okay, so anyway, that's how I'm doing it. A little microwave relay. Pretty cool. Um, ham fest find, I'm sure. Took me a couple days to find it around the shack, but uh, I'm glad I did and finally have a good use for it. So that's uh, that's it for today. A little bit later, I'm going to do one on just the K2 here. Um, show a perspective uh, guy who might be looking for one there, Mark. <laughs> Some of the features, and if you like CW, boy, it's a terrific machine. Okay, keep tinkering. That's it for now. See y'all later.